So I do think this uh, uh, commonalities, you know, with everybody, uh, even though they are living in a very, very different part of the world, uh, the world, uh, that commonality actually allows us to blend in uh, with them very easily. So when we uh, go somewhere, when we are to uh, a guy who showed meditation, you know, give a lecture, sometimes they don't want us to stop. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but they don't stop. Keep talking. You know, every single word they find to be very beneficial, very helpful for them. So therefore, I feel so happy, so blessed to have this opportunity to share you know, this insight, these values with them. So <clears throat> today, when I come to uh, Sri Lanka, uh, I see, in a way, I feel. Uh, I'm sorry for Sri Lanka, you know, for the situation currently that we all are facing in Sri Lanka. And I went to India, you know, the closest, our neighbor, you know, uh, on a pilgrimage. When I landed in Sri Lanka in the airport, uh, I feel kind of ashamed, you know, where we are today. Even though we talk about uh, big history, uh, these cultural values and all these things, philosophies, religions and everything, we can clearly see that there is a huge mess. There is something greatly missing here. Uh, what we talk, what we learn, what we hear, uh, we haven't been able to practice them. We haven't been able to apply them in our everyday life. So that has affected every single Area, every single aspect, every single social uh, level, as we can see. So therefore, I think uh, this is a very critical time, very critical time to all of us. And not only in Sri Lanka, if you think about the international level, uh, especially in Canada, the United States of America, uh, we don't see it that much different sometimes. There are very big challenges, problems, conflicts, you know, disasters in society. Uh, in the global level, they are taking place now. <clears throat> so therefore, we don't have to be isolated in there. We don't have to feel that way. You know, uh, it's a very big uh, turmoil, turbulence, I, I would say, in the global level. So these situations, so we don't have to talk about politics here. Uh, we know the situations, uh, how these aspects have led us all to uh, being in this uh, level as victims. So somehow we have to be responsible. You know, we don't, we cannot uh, blame so many things, people. Even though we all are part of that process, we have some responsibility at least to take care of ourselves. Take care of ourselves. After all. We have to experience, we have to go through everything along. No matter uh, who we are surrounded with, where we live, eventually we all have to face uh, these challenges along. Uh, I will try my best to stick to uh, uh, both languages. It has been a challenge, uh, so somehow I think uh,
to become who you are today is not the positive things, beautiful things always. What do you think? Hmm? To make you who you are today. Huh? To make yourself very strong person. They are not the positive things always. But the negative things, the challenges, uh, all the things that we mentioned earlier, the negativities, maybe loss of someone. For someone it has been a very powerful experience for them to come out of their dream world sometimes. How ignorant they are earlier, but from that particular single experience they have become able to look at the world, life in a totally different way. It has happened to many people. So that kind of challenges, negativities actually make us strong. For that we have to be thankful for the negativities. Think about what you are facing today, maybe what has happened to you previously, the experiences you have faced, right? So they have made you a very strong person to survive in this world. So therefore, we, uh, in one way we cannot escape them. We cannot run away from these negativities. So the only thing we can do is that while we face them effectively, positively, we have to appreciate them too. So look at this. Change your attitude to the negativities, negative experiences. It's a wonderful secret of being happy and uh, living in harmony in this world, society. To change our perspective, change our attitude even you know, to negativity. Think about what happened to people when they face these negative experiences. They become so mad. They become so aggressive. They go to the extremes. So eventually they control them. These negative conditions control them, guide them in wrong directions. But by changing the attitude to appreciate these negative experiences, right, as we learn, we can be thankful to them in a way. So then they cannot really harm us that much. They cannot really damage ourselves negatively. Right? But they can be very helpful tools, energy, power to uh, encourage our uh, positive skills, uh, the way we enjoy our life, the things that we do in our life. So that is a miracle. Uh, if that can happen to someone. So please keep that in mind. So after having this motivation, you know, that we all need to come out of these negativities, negative experiences. So you get some intention to move forward. Uh, to move forward. So that really uh, requires some broad understanding about the system, uh, understanding about myself, oneself, you know, how we face these situations, these negativities in life. So with that intention, actually, we all change our attitudes in every aspect. In every aspect, we change when we have that right perspective, right understanding. Uh, you come to realize what is the most valuable thing for you, what is the most important thing in your life. As I mentioned earlier, we all want to be happy. So this happiness is so complex. It doesn't come from one direction. The complexity of our life, human life uh, itself, is that. So we can uh, be happy just getting a PhD. <laughs> right? It's not all about life. We cannot simply be happy by having a bigger mansion, a bigger house, living in a big house, or driving a luxury sport car as a dream for something. <laughs> right? It is not the life all about. So we see that complexity about life, our happiness. It comes from many directions. So this is something that many people take wrong. So many people think that my happiness is only possible if I achieve this. So they become only one goal oriented. It's, they seem to neglect about other important, uh, very necessary aspects of life. 
So when we come to that intention stage, we understand what I am looking for in my life, what I exactly need. And at that point, our understanding becomes very broad. With that understanding, you come to realize that no matter what you are looking for, what you achieve in your life, what are they to the What are the of the We are poor, and we are poor. 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 We are We are poor. 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 You have to say goodbye to everything. So look at how many different dear ones say goodbye to you. You never thought about that. You never expected that. Either a big habit in the world, life is very short, very temporary. If you know how to appreciate this inner happiness, the love, compassion, 
helping each other, huh? taking care of each other. So these things never make you restless or unhappy. They always healthy values for you. These are the important things to keep in mind. Are we having the healthy values? Healthy values means no matter what you set as the goal in your life, they should never make you restless or unhappy with you. So therefore, it is our responsibility. It is our responsibility to keep and set these healthy, positive goals in our life.
and mental health ke ni thali mulai dega ansian api satu dua hari berdua. Ini bagi mana boleh mana ki boleh bagi health relationships ani bahar api satu dua hari. Api thali ni jiwa tu naik ni mesti sehat. We we never live alone as human beings. We are social beings. We always need this connection. So make a Hollywood complex situation to have many people. Think about when some people in their life sometimes, having no one to talk about what they are going through, no one to share their experience, because they cannot trust anyone. So they are very helpless in society, right? So therefore, we always want to maintain health relationships. Vratantrek, Swamya Bhavya, Adhavekarna, Yalu, Samadhi Vasvekarna, we have a healthy relationship with the ego. And Samadhi Bhavya, we have a structure, we have a habit of Samadhi Bhavya. We have a harmonious connection with the ego. We have a good attack. 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 तुम सिंगल है या डेड है यू क्यों आते हैं आलू की तरह का होने के कहाँ तुम नहीं गया नहीं नहीं ये भाई आपके कल्चर है ना ना वो तीन प्रैक्टिस गुड़ाक टाइम के लिए नहीं नहीं ये कनेक्शन नहीं है हावी टेम्पल चलो अवांक करें अवांक वो आदरे करने का उरो करने विश्वास करने रिलेशनशिप are you helpless? And the Kodaka is able to live alone. That is very dangerous, very harmful. And Kodaka will have it, and then Thani Mujiva will have it. He will have it, 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 he will have it. हमें किन्हीं गुड़ा बुधरा करने हैं। ऐसा गुड़ा के चूस करना थानी में जीवन है। मटर आई कैन लिव ओवर। आई एम स्ट्रॉंग। आई एम पावरफुल। दे थिंक दैट वे। बट व्हेन दे फेस चैलेंजेस इन दैट लाइफ, दे बिकम रियली विक्टिम्स, दे बिकम वेरी हेल्पलेस इन दिस सिचुएशन। द रीजंस व्हाई दे कैन they are very selfish, they are never ready to share anything, right? When you associate with someone, then you are with us, you can't get there. 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 Money, 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 energy, knowledge, and what they are doing. If you have a lot of money, you can't get there. 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 Are you relaxing? Yeah, how do you keep thinking? Now, when you live in your life, you can't 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 live in your life. You can't live in your life, you can't live in your life. You can't live in your health situation. You can't live in your life, you can't live in your life. You can't live in your life. I think the mental health care is better than the happiness care and the healthy relations care is harder. I think we have to do that. 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 We have to be active. We have to be very efficient in what we have to do. At the workplace, if you are a student, Right, if you uh, are someone else, you have to understand your responsibility and you have to be very active in that. You have to actively participate in that. Your happiness is coming from that too. So you have to be very successful in your profession, your work, your responsibility. That really brings the real happiness, harmony into yourself, your relationship, your workplace at the same time. So it is that complex, that broad. It's about the main little balance of the daily road, make it up in Saturday, the daily, the daily, the daily, the daily, the daily, the daily. It is a main local skill, the minister, the daily, the daily, the daily, what are the necessary, important, valuable aspects for my happiness. Make it done, 
अपने राम मुनि बुरा किने टेबल ला अनिता ये बाटिना लक्षण देवा लक्षण क्वालिटीज दूसरे भी जीवित हो रहे हैं बाटा ला इवन इसको समाहलार महान उसकी स्पिरिचुअलिटी का क्या नहीं आ रही है महान उसकी हिस्ट्री का क्या नहीं आ रही है ना वो अभी पता है ना देवा में एक भी सुपुर्दो उसकी नहीं नहीं ना So understanding 
about these negative emotions, the mechanism of these negative emotions is very effective, very important. Without that knowledge, without that skill, actually we cannot even talk about happiness. We cannot talk about happiness. We cannot find and maintain our happiness if we are ignorant of that. So, no matter what these negativities are, eventually, Avasana in the apita negative with it, apita experience karan me me manasika me awe with it. Apita manasika awe with it. Apita keta level so. Apita apita awe with it. 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 Just tell me, what is the 
into into me. Mukanda mood itu tu betul nak tu dia ni ni, boleh kira ni emotional pathway itu dia buat kan? Patience. Patience. Aduan, patience itu. Patience ni sama. Apa dia tu? Mereka orang dia tu macam ni. Mereka proses itu slow down. Apa dia mereka kaya ni ni tu? ये सिग्नल पैट ये सारे इमोशन सारे जो वो मतलब रेगुलेट करने आप ये बात रिएक्ट करने को होने के लिए बात पेन है तो यही डेट मच फास्ट दे आ वेरी वेरी रैपिडली दे आ टेकिंग प्लेस सो वी नेवर गेट यू टू चेक सी दे वी ओनली सी दे हाउ कम व्हेन एवरीथिंग हैपेंस वी वी नोटिस वी कम टू रियल you can prevent that harm from happening to you or to someone else, right? So this is the importance of slowing down this process. Slowing down. That's what we call even the meditation. How to slow down that you can easily see what happens to you. To your mind, and your brain, these activities, your behavior. Right? So can you imagine now why people in order are suffering in this world most of the time? We have no control over this process. We have no control, but these emotions are controlling us. Emotions have taken us over. This is exactly what technically happens to us. So this is a very important realization. What comes in conflict for our happiness is our own negative emotions. No matter what you call it, how you identify it, but eventually the mechanism level technical level, in your spiritual level, they are the negative emotions in your mind that make you restless, unhappy, worried, and all these negative experiences. So therefore, understanding of this mechanism of emotions is very important. This is the turning point for you to uh, experience, to understand that your happiness is something internal. Nothing external. This is where this uh, education, this knowledge comes very handy today, right? In the physics, in the biology, physiology, psychology, they all talk about it. Even religions, they talk about it. what we experience is just what? The creation of our brain. This is the most important and interesting realization. Uh, this can change your whole life if you really understand this point. What we experience out there. As my happiness is, suffering is something that creates by your brain. To see that process is very enlightening, very interesting, very important. So that knowledge is very important for us to stay healthy, peaceful, and happy in this life. It becomes very easy. That's where you don't want to change the whole world. <laughs> you understand the mechanism inside, and you did it by little, did it by little, being responsible, taking time, being so patient, slowing down. Gradually, you take that control. You take that control, which is possible for anyone. We all have to have that motivation, that intention. Understanding about this mechanism of negativities, how they come to us. So if you just react to your emotions, there's no difference from animals. Animal nature is to react to them. Animals don't have that capacity, ability to control their emotions or even to watch their emotions. Objective. Only human beings have that ability. Only human beings have the ability to look at their emotions objectively or separate themselves from the emotions. Look at them. So if you can have that point itself, it's a huge control. Your emotions have no power to continue and bring harm to you. But in the animal nature, what happens to us is that when we experience the emotions, what happens? You become
become the emotion. You become the emotion and there's no escape. There's no one to control. No one to guide you. So therefore, in our understanding, we say that there are no positive emotions actually. So today, in psychology, when people say that there are positive emotions like love, compassion, they identify them with positive emotions. But emotions are always without our control in that process. Think about what people do, how they behave when they are emotional, even positively. They can go blind. So therefore, within our practice, we say that when they come to positive levels, they are highly advanced mental skills. They have no emotions. Because they never bring suffering or harm, uh, unhappiness to you, or to someone else. They are positive, highly evolved spiritual qualities, characteristics. Negative, I mean, emotions always make you blind. That's why we don't make right, healthy, positive decisions out of emotions. Think about the decisions people make about their life and situations, how they react to them. Right? As I mentioned earlier, they only realize in the end of the process how and what they have done. Right? So these emotions, understanding about the emotions, the mechanism of it, is a very special skill. So today, another important subject in the world is that we call it the emotional intelligence. What does it mean actually? Emotional intelligence. Huh? There's another intelligence, right? AI today. Artificial intelligence taking the whole world over. It's going crazy today. Everybody talks about it. But there's another important intelligence called emotional intelligence. How they are connected to us as human beings, social beings, how they are interacting with us and affecting us overall. This emotional intelligence is a very important thing to have in our life. It is nothing but having this ability or skill to watch your emotions objectively before they take you over. Right? So get into that mechanical level, right? Diverting your signal, primitive signal that was to go through the thinking brain. Right? Processing through the thinking brain. Intellectual brain, we call it. Intellectual brain, what's the responsibility of the intellectual brain? Brain. Hmm? What is the duty of the processing there? Simply you think about the consequence. If I react to this, what will happen next? You take time to process that. Before you react to any emotion, that is what we call the responding to your emotions. Getting involved, not just letting your emotions control you. Right? The thinking brain, intellectual brain, does that to you. It processes in the right way, healthy way. It is in a control setting, the spiritual mentally, in mean, a peaceful level. You cannot do that in a hectic life, being so busy and distracted by things. In the training level, you need to have some dedicated time for that. Because you cannot simply see them. In the superficial level, with open eyes, possibly you cannot see them in the way. So with that, this is how we change ourselves from animal nature to human nature. So this is all about how we experience what we go through in this world, in this society, right? So within that level, we can see this uh, beautiful nature, how an unskillful person react to their emotions. So I want you to simply visualize a cat, okay? I want you to do this. <laughs> visualize a cat or a bird in front of a mirror. What is the attitude? Can you imagine that? What do they do basically? If you bring a cat in front of a mirror or a bird in front of a mirror, what, what do you do? 
పరిస్థితి నాకు ఏంటి ఉంటుంది కదా ఇప్పుడు లేక కానీ పోసే కానీ మళ్ళీ కానీ అన్నా నేను విశ్రానికి ఎలా ఉండిపోతూ ఉండదు కదా Technically, what we found is that in the present animal nature, 
we always pay our attention to uh, objective world, objective reality we call it. We completely forget about our subjective reality. Who is experiencing it? How it is experiencing it? Even what happens to us, our mind, our body, emotions, when we experience them. That's what we call the subjective reality. So when we have that understanding, the most of the intelligence requires not only that. We, we have to have this both awareness and also you need to understand how others will interact with your emotions. That is also a very important, healthy part of the emotions. How you interact with others' emotions, how others would react to your emotions. See how advanced this emotional, emotional intelligence is that, right? Because we we don't live alone. We always live with others. We live in a world. So we all need that knowledge to live in harmony, live in peace. So this is important to understand. It's very important. So how human beings experience this uh, experiences at a superficial level, we call uh, Sanya. Sanya means the experience of this most superficial level. That is basically dealing with our sensory experiences. No much insight. Api Vinandriya Muki, Ganna Arunu Amma Mir process Karaka, Evadiki interacted with you. Tamanki basic, most outer level of understanding, realization. Sanya. Which is the objective awareness. So we need to apply this in a general way, commonly. Uh, especially comparing with your your experience, how we interact with ourselves and the world. We always deal with this objective world, objective reality. That is what we call the Sangha. Then Abhinya is that just like the human being correcting uh, what is missing in him or herself, not in the mirror. That person always look at the subjective reality. Basically what happens to me, to my body, to my mind, how it is even processed, created in our brain. When we look at that, it is, it's a special realization, a special skill, a special way of looking at the world. So think about how this kind of uh, intellectual understanding, transformation can affect you, your life. How you deal with it when someone gets angry in front of you? When something negative happens out there. So you simply can stick to your internal process, taking some time, slowing down, before you react to it. Uh, and then you create your behavior. Before you get into the emotions, you take that control. Little by little. Little by little. So that is the subject to awareness, which is Abhinya. There's another realization called Parinya. That means you have the perfect knowledge of these both aspects, subjective and objective awareness. This is how you live in harmony in the world. There are two realities in the world, right? Conventional truth or reality and ultimate truth, ultimate reality. This true, two truths are very important. Conventional reality is that what we are dealing with everyday life. Right? In this superficial material world, this is where we find all these things are essential for us. Right? We all have to live first. <laughs> we have to be successful in life. If all these things are in the conventional world, true. We all need that in order for us to be happy, comfortable. Right? Spirituality, all this knowledge itself cannot make you perfect. Right? So we have to be successful. So when you have a good understanding about the superficial world and the conventional world, this is where you uh, maintain all these necessary things that I mentioned earlier. I'm 
understanding the importance of these aspects, balancing out these different aspects of life. You know, the value of your in, in, introspection is in your attention, your knowledge and attitude about emotional intelligence, taking this control without letting other things control you. You take the lead, control. You taking that responsibility. So when you have that uh, conventional truth, understand it brings such a uh, great harm into your life. Otherwise, life can become very struggle. Your life cannot be struggle. It leads to suffering. Right? So we have to understand our responsibilities, our duties. All these things are in the conventional truth. But the ultimate truth, the reality that we mentioned about looking at our experience in a real world or realistic world, like how everything is created in our brain, how our emotions, our uh, chemicals, our hormones are responsible for all these experiences in each other. So that is what you are dealing with within that level. Without trying to change the external world. That is something individual, private. That is for your own happiness and safety, spiritual happiness, right? To be very healthy. But if you do not know how to maintain the harmony between these two, you get into troubles. You get into troubles. Parinya means you find the harmony between these two realities. Conventional truth and the ultimate truth. Right? Because someone being so spiritual or very intellectual, they can hugely miss these social values. The values I mentioned, very practical things like helping each other, you know, caring for someone, you know, all these things can be missed in the internal world. So the real happiness comes to us from the balance. And how we maintain this true understanding about the realities? It is very important. So, Sanya, Abhinya, and Parinya. Sanya and Abhinya. Think about those two examples, words, reaction in front of the mirror, and the reaction of a human being in front of the mirror. So, human beings can be still in the animal attitude <coughs> if, we are, if we are led by our emotions. So, therefore, the real responsibility is the enlightened love. They never caught up in these negative emotions. They never control, uh, they never let any of these negative emotions control. So, after all, we need to be very skillful in eliminating these negative emotions as a part of this process in order for us to be happy, peaceful, and successful. And then we need to think about what are the necessary conditions, supportive, helpful conditions. Right? Like having good friends around us. One has to go to somewhere, you know, to talk and share our experience. We can have some trust in it. It's very important. So it's our responsibility to create some uh, environment like that, supportive environment, as I mentioned earlier. So this is a, an occasion like that, having this opportunity, right? To talk about these things, these values that can be very beneficial for us. And in the real loving kindness and compassion, the self love is very important. The introspection, it word attention, to have some time to reflect on these things. As well, living in a very empty, very busy life, how much you have to yourself. Just to not to do anything at all and just be relaxed, just be peaceful and look at your mind just for a second. This is very effective. So in experience actually, I suggest this exercise actually for uh, our friends, you know, no matter how busy you are, uh, how restless you are during the day, to have at least two minutes just to 
not to do anything at all. Get rid of the phones, computers, nothing, and just be with yourself. If possible, close your eyes. Okay? If you like to experience it. Okay? Alright, let's take a minute to experience it. Okay? This is nothing serious. Just to experience yourself peacefully. Okay? I kindly uh, invite you to join this uh, practical uh, session. So I want you to sit upright, keep your back straight. Okay, gently close your eyes. If possible, without making any movements, just be still. Knowing that you are seated peacefully, very calm and relaxed, more than you will sit in one Just be with yourself. You hear the sounds. That will become thankful with these noise of the fans as they are calling us. And now bringing your attention to your psychophysical entity, your body and mind gradually. Feel your entire body with the mind. Take a quick look at your body with the mind from the top of the head. Gently touching with your mind, the whole body, just to see how you feel it. See if your body is relaxed. See if your body is calm. Or you if it is restless. Being very friendly to yourself. Being very kind and gentle to yourself. Simply look at the stillness in your body. Where will you hold your attention in your body? Clean the stillness. See if you can completely let go of all other thoughts as memories and other mental images from the mind. Gently allow yourself to be here and now in the present moment. This is simply a listen to your body with an empty mind. When you become very still like this, the whole system, your brain activities, neural connections, hormone connections, other moments in your body can get into very peaceful and soothing moments. Another way, we all can get into the default levels. Can we? 
So somehow the CEO and other workers, these co-workers, they arranged the farewell party for him. At the end of the party, they all wanted to give a present, present uh, to his friend. So eventually, the, the CEO came forward and offered his gift. And he, uh, he opened the gift right there. What was the gift? The huh? keys for this new keys for a new house. Keys for a new house. What do you think? Was he happy or unhappy? Hmm? <laughs> he nearly got a heart attack. Why do you think? Because he knew how he built the house. <laughs> he, only he knew how he built the house. You know how he built the house, right? What was his main intention? To get retired. So therefore what he did, what did he do? He didn't care about the house. He didn't care about the house at all. His main intention was to retire as quickly as possible. Therefore, what happened was he didn't have enough time, good time to finish this house. Therefore, he did not get good professional materials in it. Huh? So he did the job very carelessly. Carelessly. He didn't know that. It was going to be his gift from the CEO. So he suffered. He, he suffered a lot. But he accepted the gift. So that's the story. The message. Simply think about it. If he knew from the beginning it was going to be his own house, his own house. How do you think he would have built that house? <laughs> My goodness. He would take as long as possible to finish this house, right? And what about the materials? <laughs> he would get the best, the most expensive material for this house. And he would definitely have all the facilities, right? He would take extra time to even make it perfect because he knew it's going to be his own house. Uh, the life is also like that. So we talk about being selfish to be very negative, bad, <laughs> right? But we see that uh, Benefit. Now we have spoken about the emotions, right? The emotional attachment to ourselves is the danger, the harm. The emotional attachment is always bad, negative, bring harm, happiness, I mean the harm, harm, the danger. All these negativities come to us. But if we simply know that it belongs to me, the important thing is that the way you interact with that is going to be totally different. Think about that carpenter. Okay. So we simply, I mean, he was very careless and he did not take his responsibility for him as a builder, carpenter. So in our life also sometimes we are like, we don't take our real responsibility for our life. We are very careless. So we have to have that kind of sense of ownership. Uh, it sounds bad or negative, maybe, I don't know. But I see the point. I think you also would understand that. Simply remembering that story. But right? if you really take that responsibility, how you do the job, how you behave, how we interact with others is going to be very different. Very different. To simplify this, when you live in your home, you have you should have 
responsibility. How we should live in that house? When you have that responsibility, can you simply ignore when something is broken? No. You would keep the things very steadily, very clean, don't you? Knowing this is my place, this is where I live. But some people live like what is that, right? They say, uh, get a king of a punchy, make a king of a little bit of a message, get a punchy device in the Taiwan, make a man of a little bit. How do you respond to that? In the place, take the responsibility. No matter where you are, either you are at workplace, in the lecture hall, or any other place, you should know your responsibility, how to behave, not to disturb or distract someone, how to make others happy. That should be your responsibility. And you should have your responsibility for your relationships, as we spoke about earlier. You should have that responsibility. Always matters what happens to the other person. It's very important for you, right? Because you become part of their experience as you are interacting with them always. Right? So we should have the responsibility for our relationships. You are responsible if something negative happens to your friends or whoever you associate with. You should have some responsibility to protect them. To provide the safety, spiritual, emotional, physical, mental, every aspect, we should have some responsibility. How beautiful that is. So we become very help, helpful. We, are, we feel that safety, that supportive quality for each other. So we should have that responsibility to who we are associated with. And responsibility for our health. Definitely physical and mental <laughs> important. We should have that responsibility. Think about the carpet. If you don't have that responsibility, if you do not know that eventually you are going to be the victim, just like that carpenter, you have to pay for that, right? For what you are going through. So knowing that it belongs to you eventually, you should take that responsibility seriously. The physical and mental health is very important. Everywhere, for everything, we should have that responsibility. Think about the country, society, what happens to us today. They don't understand their responsibility. They don't perform that perfectly. So we all suffer because of that. So therefore, we need to take that serious responsibility for our happiness. No one else can give it to you. We all are responsible for that. So that's what I can share with you uh, today. If you have any question or anything, you can have some time. Um, do you have any question about what we just shared so far? and try my best to clarify when I am ready to learn. <laughs> Any question? 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 Any Thank you. 
pikiran yang mulia. Yang tadi kriya itu ni kau tinggal, entah boleh apa sih. Tapi kalau tu macam dekat sama ini, how to have a balanced life and how to be responsible. Very important, exactly. Yeah. It's been so smart, right? If we know that. Life is so complex today. You know, there are so many different layers, aspects. We need to pay attention to. So if we miss any single one, we can have a big mess in our life. Uh, and how to be responsible? It's my responsibility. We all have to have that uh, responsibility into these important aspects. Devices on the skull, you know, the muscles, and 
all over the body, they connected them to the monitor and they simply instructed this athlete to close the eyes and visualize that he is exactly running in the Olympic ground track. So they could simply monitor that. The neurons that fire in the brain, the muscle reactions were exactly the same as if we was running in the Olympic field. They experience that. So this is exactly what happens. What comes into your mind, your brain, your brain takes it to be real. So we suffer a lot because of that. It's a nightmare, pleasant experience or a bad experience. What happens to you is a terrible experience. You cannot even sleep peacefully, right? So think about Think about the real world when we are not sleeping. The important message here, okay, when you are awake, if you live in a, an emotional world without knowing the reality, I, as I explained earlier, without knowing the reality, uh, your brain creates for you, for your experience. If you do not know that, it is just like your brain experiencing the fake things as a reality. An instructor, unskillful, a person who does not have any of this understanding, go through all this unnecessary suffering, all negativities, because of not seeing the reality. In a way, this subjective reality, how it is created for you. The process, without being able to see that process. Okay, there are a lot to explain here to clarify that. But simply, for your brain, it doesn't know what is fake and what is real. It takes whatever it is given. That's why today, these video games, these violent video games are terribly uh, refused. Even though it has been a pandemic today. I think you heard the story what happened in Canada Ottawa recently. Right? It is said that the boy uh, expressed to the colleagues, he said, Sankhara can make it. Maybe have it take a hundred quick attack. 
तक नहीं अपने ब्रेन में भी क्रिएस होगा तक नहीं अपने डील Take some time to do some investigations in Thailand. 
It can be effective for you next time. Right? That's how we need to plan this thing. Let you mind it. It takes time. Uh, because your body and mind would not allow you to do that because it is against your normal process. <laughs> they don't know how to appreciate and enjoy it. But this is exactly what we call the emotional brain and the thinking brain is always independent. So what means all this is our emotional thought, which is carried away by our uh, the superficial world, our pleasure, you know. But we need to increase our capacity with our intellect, our uh, understanding, uh, our thinking breath. So this is where we really need to apply this practice. It is possible. It is not impossible.
Thank you. 